This is section 3.4 and 3.5. The lectures are combined together. The homework is separated. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll put the videos with the requirement in, th in 3.4. I'll link it to them in 3.5, but it will not be a requirement for the homework because hopefully you have seen it already. Okay, so we're going to have several formulas in here. Basically, a lot of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be given little bits of information and they want us to take that information and create an equation that works for it. Okay. The first of our formulas that you really should know is the slope intercept form of a line. We dealt with this in the last section. This is the formula that you were not given but were expected to use. Y equals mx plus b. We were always worried about the m because we were in a section for, about slope. But b is your y-intercept, or it's part of your y-intercept. So um, that's also very good information. Now, how do we use this formula? Some of these formulas we're going to be getting, there will be ones that we plug into all the time and we like use. And some of these will be, you know, a, a format where they want us to write our answer in a particular way. Slope-intercept form is actually kind of both of them. We sometimes get to plug into this formula, but that's actually pretty rare because in order to be able to plug into the formula, we have to have the slope and we have to have the y-intercept. And that's just not something that we get very often, okay? But it is possible. Most often, we will be rewriting equations so that they are in this form. This right here, the rewriting, we did that in the last section. Okay, so the next formula we use is point-slope formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. You want to remember that those are minus signs. m is still your slope. x1, y1 is a given point. Here, the given point had to be the y-intercept. This works for any point, okay? This is usually going to be your first step, and you'll be plugging into this formula a whole lot, but we don't leave things in this form. So you're going to plug it in here, you're gonna get an ugly equation and they'll want us to simplify it, either into slope intercept form or standard form, which we are about to talk to about. Now, whenever I learned this, the part that gave me a lot of trouble was I kept wanting to plug in something for X and for Y. For an equation, we have a regular X and a regular Y in the formula. So the regular x and regular y are part of our answer. We don't plug anything into them. We will plug in to x1, y1, and m, and that's it. Okay, so usually our first step, often transforming to here or to here when we simplify. Okay, so let's talk about standard form. ax plus by is equal to c. a, b, and c are just some numbers. See, here's our regular x, our regular y, okay? We do not plug into this formula. We will not be able to plug in. This is only a way that we will write our answers after we've done this, okay? Now, there are special requirements to be in standard form. Uh, personally, I would not be this picky, but I don't get to write my math lab and I don't get to grade it. So they are picky, so we have to be picky. Variables have to be in this order. Your x variable has to be first, then your y equal to some number. The first number must be positive. So the coefficient of x must be positive. Now, in the rare cases where you don't have an x, your b, the number in front of your y, would need to be positive. So whichever number comes first needs to be a positive number. No fractions allowed. If our equation has fractions in them, we are going to have to multiply by the least common denominator to get rid of them. Equations must be quote unquote reduced, okay? There's not really a good word for this. What I mean by that is if you had 4x plus 10y is equal to 12. The variables are in the right order. The first number is positive. I don't have any fractions, but this is not in standard form because just like when you're dealing with fractions, you ask yourself, is there any number that can divide evenly into all of these so that I can reduce the fraction? 
It's the same thing here. I would need to divide everything here. They're all even numbers, so I'm going to divide all of them by a 2. And I'm allowed to do that because basically I'm, I'm dividing both sides by 2, and we can divide both sides of an equation by something. This gives me 2x plus 5y is equal to 6, and this is standard form. In the next video, we will start working some problems with these.